I hope, of course, that uh, this time around we will have a successful conference in the sense that uh, states' parties will be able to uh, achieve, arrive at meaningful, uh, constructive uh, conclusions that will be able to bring forward the process of non-proliferation of nuclear weapons, nuclear disarmament, and the promotion of the peaceful uses uh, of nuclear energy. It's very important, the new START treaty that was signed in April, 8th of April in Prague. And it will certainly uh, bring a new impetus to the NPT uh, review conference because it is an important uh, disarmament measures and uh, we all hope that this process will continue. All members of the NPT, of course, have the right to pursue the development of nuclear energy for peaceful purposes. Uh, Iran says this is what it's doing. Uh, there are some uh, doubts uh, that have been expressed by uh, countries. Uh, the uh, IAEA has also pronounced itself uh, on this matter. The question is uh, under examination not only at the IAEA but also there are offers uh, from European countries from the United States and uh, the question has also been uh, taken up by the Security Council. Now I, I cannot speculate on what uh, any party to the treaty may do in the future. India and Pakistan have developed nuclear explosive devices, have exploded uh, their own uh, test uh, weapons, and they have declared themselves as possessors of nuclear weapons. Israel has also not joined the treaty, but it has never declared whether it possesses or not a nuclear weapon. It has pursues a policy of neither confirming nor denying uh, their possession, although uh, many uh, states uh, uh, believe that uh, Israel does possess some of those weapons. So they're, they're the position of these countries regarding the NPT is very clear. They are non-parties. They are not parties. They, are not, they don't have any of the obligations that uh, states' parties have. Of course, uh, there's been uh, calls uh, from the parties to the NPT for these three countries to join the treaty as non-nuclear weapons, as non-nuclear weapon states.